Hello everyone, I'm Yunisa Kitaya and I'm an artist. So I'm presently at the exhibition of Tuba Rain and we have about 105 artists exhibiting today at my dream gallery. So I'll be interviewing some artists to know about their works and how the journey of art, just a few questions, I'll be asking a few questions. So I'm sure you would like to know something about them too. Come with me. So here we may have Mr. Edosa Ogigo, and we have his work right here in the um, exhibition. So I'm really excited to learn. I'm really excited to learn more, to just learn something new, something few about um, your work of art. So what inspires you whenever you paint? What inspires me um, is a combination of factors. Okay. Um, the drive to communicate. Okay. The drive to uh, to also capture the essence and um, the ability to see how I can improve on my past works. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, like you rightly mentioned before the interview, um, to be able to make my contribution for developmental purposes. All right, that's beautiful. Yes. Thank you. So, how did you come about your style? Oh. Yes, they really. <laughs> It's a very um, confident style. Its strokes are very confident. So how did you come about this style? Um, I think that artists involve. And each time I'm asked this question, okay. what I remember is between 1980, 82, okay. when we were in school. All right. I had seen a couple of works of, um, of course, there were very good libraries around town, mm -hmm. especially in my growing up days in Benin. Okay. Then coming to Yabatek, um, there were a couple of artists that I look up to, okay. uh, like Kayode Dou, we called him Idouke. I saw his works and that really sent me, you know, a desiring to paint more and more like him. Okay. Because uh, interestingly, the style was in the realm of things I had seen of Harry Anderson, who happened to be a children's Bible illustrator. Wow. Yes. Okay. And um, then I kept at it until I think my own the two. Okay. We go into the live drawing class someday. We were asked to not to come in or to take out our erasers. Okay. So we needed to just draw without erasers. Then I have seen a, a couple of cross hashes. So I decided to experiment. Okay. Then after the live drawing class, in my painting class, I thought I could use my brushes more freely. Okay. Just play with the brush, yeah. all of the sides. Okay. You know, the flat brush can give you the thin, the thick, the broad, and you can drag it whichever, yeah. which is also part of the basic design we were taught okay. about variety. Okay. And it worked for me. So I think that was the discovery of, of course, the lecturers always emphasized um, discovering yourself. Okay. Discovering yourself. We, we were, that was hammered into us from our very first year. Okay. And so somehow it worked. All right. Okay, so hope you didn't take too long to discover yourself as an artist. Well, I'm glad I discovered myself in school. Okay. And I had the right environment in terms of the people that imparted knowledge. You can't be in a school where you had Professor Grillo, 
wow. Raji or Shiga Jenkins or Shino Wo, wow. Imo, ah. Mrs. Osege. I can name, I can keep naming. Okay. So um, then we had inspiration like Tolu Filani, who is in the US now. Um. Then we had visiting lecturers like Abaya Baba. Uh, Dele Jagede okay. and the likes. All right. so, That's lovely. Thank you. So I'm so happy to have you here to interview. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you too. All right. Bye. We are done. and unlike others is a sculptor so sir can you identify yourself okay you are welcome i'm mr you. animu all right Obore by name okay um i'm an artist okay i'm a sculptor by profession yeah, all right and um, by privilege, I'm the Treasurer Society of Nigerian Artists wow. in Lagos. That's, that's uh, I read sculpture. I have an MFA in Fine Arts Sculpture in University of Lagos. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome to October in 2021. Yeah. Uh, like I do tell people, S uh, October in is an annual festival okay. of Lagos State Chapter of Nigerian um, uh, Art. Right. You know, our our outing this year, we're just here to project the Nigerian art, okay. the Nigerian culture, the Nigerian tradition yeah, right. through our creativity yeah, right. and the work on display as we can see. They are, they are products of uh, some of our artists from the Lagos State Chapter. Okay. And these are some of the things that we have been able to use to project our culture in this year's exhibition. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that's lovely. So, um, I don't know. Can you um, tell us the concepts behind your work, your sculpture piece? Okay. Like I, I, like I, I told you, Earlier, okay. that I'm a sculptor okay. by uh, training. All right. uh, this is one of the uh, aspects of sculpture, this mental construction. Okay. Uh, it's one, one of my works, one of my sculptures. Okay. Uh, this idea came when I was producing um, my furniture sculptures, uh, I think around 2020. 2016 or so. All right. So actually, I was building a, a stand for table. Okay. So I got the idea from uh, from that table. Okay. To make something of this nature. All right. That's yes. Beautiful. So it's just an, an, a, a way of uh, trying to use so many things to create something out of nothing. All right. Or uh, out of other materials or concepts. Okay. So I derived this concept from. A table design. Okay, yes. that you were working on. Yes, so, so what I have here is actually um, uh, two female figures okay. represented in the Yoruba tradition. Okay. We, the, the, this uh, part of the work is um, Kabiesi. Okay. Why the other figure is a lady is is a uh, Olori, okay. as in Kabiesi and his wife. <laughs> uh, so right. I'm not from the Yoruba uh, culture, okay. but uh, at least I've been able to use these materials so. to represent what that aspect of the Yoruba culture right. is standing for. What culture are you from? I'm from Edo. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, just say something. How has your art influenced, um, how has your work or your style influenced art? My style, my, 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 my technique, rather, okay. has influenced a lot of artists. Okay. Uh, in, in such a way that uh, people have seen my kind of concept okay. and people, uh, some have started you know, going into it. Okay. For instance, I major in functional sculpture, as I told you. Okay. I use um, sculpture as a metal to build 
functional art yeah. like tables, uh, you know, <laughs> like tables, chairs, right. and so many other things like okay. that. But gradually, it's becoming something that a lot of people are appreciating. Okay. Uh, so nice. by so by 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 so doing, people have been influenced okay. by what. I've been able to bring on the table. Wow. Yes. That's beautiful. Um, it's really happy. I'm really happy to have you here at okay. the Thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. Thank you.